the medium is oil on canvas. So what I do is sort of um, mix a lot of color up ahead of time, and then I start melding it together by putting it down in different shapes. Every combination of colors on her canvas shows a mix of emotions in the constantly evolving life of Beth Edwards. It's about the highs and the lows, and art is the reflection of that. I always basically paint on the extremes. The mental images expressed by this University of Memphis art professor don't always show how she's feeling in the moment. Sometimes, it's a picture of how she wants to feel. I made a choice to consciously start painting happier images, even though I personally did not feel happy. Her happiness series expresses human pleasure through joyful, absurdly optimistic, cartoonish characters in desirable settings that sometimes include classic art as part of the scene. I was dealing with all the things that make life good for them so that they were existing in houses that were beautiful or driving old vintage cars or um, experiencing beautiful places. So I'm interested in stories, though, that are now basically about happiness, about enjoying life, appreciating the pleasures in life. And one of those chief pleasures is art and my belief in art. So I see this work as sort of the opposite of how difficult life is. And I really wanted it to be not only visually a rich aesthetic experience, so it's something when people look at it that they can enjoy it. The quirky cartoon characters captured attention at the Brooks Museum in Memphis and then took a prominent place in the Tennessee Arts Commission Gallery. I think they're great. I mean, the first time I saw them at the Brooks, I started chuckling. I, I, they were just so unique. And so um, I, I said, I've got to figure out who this person is. i got to contact them. I'd love to get a piece. And ultimately, what I wanted to do is get a piece of hers in our permanent collections. A native of North Carolina, Beth grew up in a household with a dad who was not only an artist, but also an art professor. Her mother was an interior designer. But Beth had a different kind of life in mind. She joined her high school debate team and longed to be a lawyer. The family moved north when her dad was named chairman of the art department at Penn State University. And her dreams for the future were devastated by arrogance. I had a real strong um, sort of hillbilly accent. And I moved to this northern little town that was a college town, and it was sort of an academic elitist kind of town. And I was ridiculed. Beth got her degree from the Tyler School of Art in Philadelphia. She took several unsatisfying jobs before getting her master's from Indiana University and becoming an associate art professor for 12 years at the University of Dayton in Ohio. There were a couple of marriages along the way. As the new century began, she returned south to become a professor of painting at the place from which her dad had retired, the University of Memphis. But it is Beth's own art that helps make her life more meaningful. I've always found life to be extremely taxing and difficult and troubling. And for much of my life as an artist, I was more involved in the cathartic nature of art to deal with that pain. But eventually, she became fascinated by dolls. One of the dolls, and it was the first one I ever painted, was a doll that I'd grown up with. So I painted it, and it was a total epiphany. It was full of meaning, you know, it was full of life. But I was also interested in just how they represent people, how they represent a type of character. That's really rather beautiful. She began to study other dolls and figurines from her sister's popular vintage store in Memphis. Flashback. This one's a classic over here, is the boxing kangaroo. But instead of happy, optimistic characters, she found herself focused on dolls that seemed sad and troubled. I started to make a series of pieces that were about strife, and this coincided with the, our, our entry into the Iraqi war. So that, the, you know, there's a sen sense of doom that sort of has settled over those characters. And I was getting so overcome by a certain sadness over everything in terms of real life and in terms of what I was painting, that I realized that I couldn't keep going with that. And that brought about the birth of the Happiness series. These smiling characters gave her an unexpected evolution in emotion. 
A weird thing happened. As I started to paint those paintings that were about happiness, I just completely changed. And it, it pulled me out of that gloom that I was feeling about the war. I started to, I, it really changed my outlook on life. Her dad, Larry Edwards, is now her mentor, but also an artist whose paintings are described by his daughter as doom and gloom. He explains his work as cynical humor, but after 40 years of teaching students at five colleges and universities, he believes Beth is more knowledgeable about the technical aspects of art than anyone he's ever met. As she grows and changes, the art grows and changes, but the, the quality of the, the work itself remains at a very high level. Not only that, but she's my daughter and I'm very proud of her. <laughs> While her mood is mellow now, Beth knows that can change again at any moment. And when it does, the creativity on her canvas will change right along with it. You know, there's lots that can happen in life, you know, and you go through rough patches and then you pull out of it. And right now I've been on a good run for a long time and I'm sure that will come to an end.